Hello everybody, I'm Jacob and welcome to web development tutorial number 11. Today is an exciting day because we're learning about character entities. Let's get started. HTML has some special characters that it treats differently from others, like the opening angle bracket or less than sign and the closing angle bracket or greater than sign, which HTML uses to delimit tags and doesn't display as text. This is all well and good. However, what do we do if we want to display just an angle bracket? Luckily, HTML has a solution for us. Character entities, which are pieces of text HTML has set aside to represent special characters. If that's a little confusing, don't worry. Once we start coding, it will become clear, I promise. Therefore, let's start coding. Let's say I wanted to type a less than sign here. If I just type it in, that's actually invalid HTML because it's expecting a tag. Therefore, we have to use the character entity for the less than sign, which is an ampersand, the letters LT for less than, and a semicolon. Obviously, in our HTML document, this doesn't look like a less than sign. However, if we save, go over to our browser and refresh, it's interpreted as a less than sign. Of course, we have to be able to type a greater than sign too. The character entity for one of those is an ampersand, the letters GT for greater than, and a semicolon. If we go over here, save and refresh, it's interpreted as a greater than sign. You may be starting to see a pattern here. Character entities start with an ampersand and end with a semicolon. And that is exactly right. Here's a quick one that's easy to remember. Inside of attributes, if we use double quotes, we can't put another double quote inside of the attribute, otherwise it's interpreted as the end of the attribute, and HTML doesn't know what to do with this because it thinks that the attribute ends right here. Luckily, there's an HTML entity that provides a solution. Ampersand, the word quote, and a semicolon. This is the same as typing a double quote. The last character entity we're going over in this video is the one for a single, simple, non-breaking space. Why would we want a character entity for a space? Well, remember how HTML condenses every group of white space it sees into one space? Like, if I put a bunch of spaces here, save, and reload, it's still interpreted as just one space? The character entity for a non-breaking space is rendered exactly like a normal space, except it won't be condensed down like normal white space is. So what is this character entity? Well, if we get rid of this real quick. The character entity is an ampersand, of course, and then NBSP for non-breaking space, and then a semicolon. Now, if I copy and paste this a whole bunch of times in here, instead of them all getting condensed down, we have a bunch of spaces. Hey, you guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. And of course, there are a lot more HTML entities out there. So many, it would take like forever to make a video about all of them. So I'm putting a link in the description to a reference chart where you can look up any HTML entity you need. Anyways, that's all for today. My name is Jacob, and see you next time.